going to put up with that? Let's sold that to someone with more money than sense by the afternoon. <laughs> oh, Gabby, hi. Um, you don't think Kim wants to buy a vintage Baffert garden, do you? We'll just say 100 quid. Oh, actually, she might want that to water the horses in the paddock. The trough keeps leaking. I'll just check. <sighs> hey, up, Tom, huh? Gets big every time I see him. Yeah, that's kind of what happens, Vin. It's a design feature. Is your mum being cheeky to Uncle Vinny, yeah? Well, go on, fight back. He's a strong male role model. <laughs> Uh, Kim says that she'll have it, but only for 75. OK, 75, but tell her it's only because she's a mate and she ain't that flush. Uh, no, I'll just tell her that she's got a deal and that you'll drop it round later. OK. Hiya. Hi. 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 Just squash, love. Some of fruits. Oh, thanks. So, uh, how's Laurel? After all that drama with Kit? Mum. Kit who? He's an idiot. we we'll find someone better. Yeah, well, it's not that easy when you're a single parent and you don't get to go out a lot. I'll come on, Paul, will you? Be your minder. Oh, yeah. And then when I don't get chatted up, we can share a kebab and a taxi home. Like your mum's not getting chatted up. Hey, look at her. Chuffing gorgeous. Mm. Go on, patronise me some more. OK, not just... I told you not to come here. Do you want them to crack onto us? You're lucky they were all sat outside earlier. Did you deal with that Monday? Yeah. Liv's took against her now. Good. But how are you hoping to split them up? Well, they don't have sex, cos Liv's asexual. Doesn't he have needs? Yeah, of course he does. And I'm reminding Liv of that. Making her think he's keen on her mate, Gabby. This is father for Liv. Yeah. So it won't be long before he's off the scene and we can move on to phase two. Getting our hands on Liv's money. I really...